Hello, this is Rob from robcoven.com and I'm going to show you how to set up a blog broadcast email in Aweber. Now, blog broadcast emails are completely automated emails that are sent out with your latest blog posts in them. You can send them out on a particular day every week and they exist as a sort of newsletter. They don't take too long to set up and they take zero time to maintain. So they're completely automated. Once you've set them up and you continue to write your blog posts every week, then your subscribers will receive a newsletter every week. It's as simple as that. The only downside of them is that they may lack the personal touch of broadcast emails. So anyway, let's go ahead and create one for this list that I've selected here. So we go to Messages, Blog Broadcasts, and create a blog broadcast. Now, here is the feed URL. Now this is for the RSS feed, which every blog has, and it can be reached very easily by adding a slash feed at the end of your blog. So let's go to the blog for this list. And as the blog is on the home page, then all we have to do is go slash feed to get the feed. However, if you want to send out your blog broadcasts for only one of the categories of your blog, which many people do, you can simply go to that category and then add slash feed, check that it's working, and check that you only have the blog articles that you want to send in your newsletters or blog broadcasts, and copy that. And then we can paste that in here. So, you can either send all your blog posts or just the blog posts from one specific category as you wish. Next, enter the subject and then you can choose, if you wish, a template from Aweber for your blog broadcast and load templates. And there it is. Now you'll see that here you have what are called short codes and what they do is go to the RSS feed and find the equivalent text. So the channel title will be the title of your blog and the item title will be the title of a blog post. The item date will be the date and the description, the description and so on. So that's really how you create your blog broadcast email. So because I don't really like any of the Aweber templates, I've got one that I created myself. So I'm going to go into source, select that all and delete. And I'm now going to get the source that I used earlier. And here it is. And I'll be putting this code in the description of the video. But it's not very difficult. All I did was insert an image and you can do that with that icon there and afterwards I got these short codes they're very simple and we can have a look at a test email to see if they work or not but again we've got the item title the item description and these two item block ends they go in to make sure that the short codes work and just to scroll down here I have other stuff in the email but there's a couple more short codes here that are quite good to use not only on a blog broadcast email but also on any email at all that you send from Aweber because what they are is confirming the subscription date and the subscription email that your subscriber used when they subscribed to your list. So this helps as some subscribers can forget that they subscribe to a list and mark your message as spam, which we don't want. So this is a nice way of saying that you have subscribed and this is when you did it, just to jog your memory. But say, of course, to the subscribers, they're free to unsubscribe at any time, as is the case with any email you sent out with Aweber. So being totally transparent, which helps to build up confidence within, with your list. And lastly, you can create a send time. You can choose a time that you think is best for your target audience. You can specify the number of new items to send. And if you're only writing a new blog post every week or so, then that isn't very relevant. You can send on specific days or days of the month. That's quite good if you're making sure that you're going to send out a newsletter every Monday and you know that you've written new blog posts by that time. And also send automatically. That means that um, you don't have to send it at all. You don't have to do anything. Aweber will just send it at your time. Otherwise, you can and leave that unchecked and you can make sure you'll get notified within the Aweber website that you have a pending email to go out so you can just check it quickly and see if it's okay. So we're going to track clicks and not enable social sharing and save the blog broadcast. 
Now what it's doing, you can see it's creating one of five there. That's because I must have five blog posts in that particular category. So we're going to make sure that we're going to delete four of them. So we just send out the latest one. Okay, so that's been saved. There it is. And we can change that at any time. We can change the title or something like that. But if we go into broadcast now, then we're going to get, as I said, all of the items in that particular category. And we don't want four of them because we don't want to send out five emails at the same time. So let's make sure that we delete the old ones and just leave us with this one and let's send a test to see how it works okay so that's exactly how I wanted it um, we've got our logo we've got a bit of an introduction we've got a link to the blog post which is the latest blog post in that category and we've got the description of the blog post we haven't got the whole blog post if you send the whole blog post then there's no reason for your subscribers to go back to the site. I think it's nice to get the subscribers back to your site as many times as you can. And there's a little outro there after the blog post information. And remember there's those little reminders saying when you signed up and what email address you used when you signed up. And then finally the unsubscribe information. So thank you very much for listening. I hope you enjoyed that. That's how you send blog broadcasts with Aweber. This has been Rob from robcoven.com. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.